mansion on the Tulane country road. Lord, I pray, let them be saved. No turning back, I'm just a mile away from home. I sit here waiting, let me be patient. Sometimes it's hard to ease my mind to be alive. You're always with me. I'm here with uh, Paula Fuga. Fuga? Fuga? Funga. 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 She's from Waimanalu, uh, Oahu. And um, we had a conversation today. You sang with Jack Johnson today? Yeah. Yeah? How did that go? That was great. I, I'm i super stoked to, you know, be a part of his tour. I'm on tour with him, opening up for him with the Culver City Dub Collective. Mm -hmm. And they're bunch of great guys and I think the leader of the band is Adam Topol who's Jack Johnson's drummer so mm -hmm. that's pretty special you know mm -hmm. like that's so cool that we were able to be a part of this tour you know because of Adam. How long have you been singing? Uh, pretty much my whole life you know but professionally for like maybe about going on three years now. Mm -hmm. So, how did you hook up with Adam? Um, well, actually, I made friends with Jack first. Oh, okay. And then, um... Where did you meet Jack at? I met him on the North Shore. Uh-huh. At a kickball tournament that my boyfriend's brother throws every every year. He hasn't thrown it that, like, in about it. He skipped last year, but mm -hmm. for about, like, five years strong, he had this annual kickball tournament, and Jack... <laughs> He's from the North Shore, he's local, you know, from Hawaii, and, um, you know, he was a part of it, mm -hmm. you know, a few years, and fortunately, I am I was performing at one of them, and he noticed, excuse me, actually his wife, Kim, and his wife, Kim, was like, hey, man, she's good, I think we should ask her to be a part of the Cocoa Festival. And so he came up to me and asked me, and you know, that's how we became friends. Mm -hmm. And we eventually recorded a song together. And um, you know, when I was looking to promote my music here on the mainland, Jack said that he had a friend who has like a reggae band, and it was Adam, you know, Adam so, Topol. Yeah, Adam Topol. And so Jack's drummer. Yeah. So we ended up being friends and planning some shows together. When Jack knew that I was gonna be on tour, I mean like gonna like do a little tour with the Culver City Dub Collective, um, he invited me to be on a song on the Culver City Dub Collective's album, just to kind of like, you know, solidify a relationship, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we had that. So you guys did some recording? Yeah, we recorded a song. Like that that we sang tonight, which is Give Voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty cool track. Mm -hmm. Cool. Have you recorded with uh, with Jack? Before? I mean, so you uh, that that was with Jack. You recorded yeah. with Jack. I was thinking it was with Culver. So you both recorded with Culver City. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I get it. See, yeah. Jack was in the process of um, recording a track for Culver City Dub Collective. And so he figured, since I'm going to be making music with them anyway, you know, he, it would be a good idea to jump in on the track with him. So he invited me to come and record with him for that project. So, oh, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you played with Oliver at all? Oliver Charles? He plays with, he's uh, ben, Harper's ben Harper's drummer. drummer. Yeah. No, man, I never, I never really? played with him yet. He's a really nice guy. If you get a chance, you should go for it. Um, but uh, so you met Jack in Hawaii, and that was, when was that, a couple years ago? Two thousand and six. Okay. No, no, I met him in two thousand and five, Jan, December, mm -hmm. and then um, he invited me to be at his Cocoa Festival, April two thousand six. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, so what was the Cocoa Festival like? The Cocoa That's in Festival, Honolulu, or is it on in, Maui? It's in Honolulu at, at Waikiki. Yeah. Waikiki Shell. Sis, it's the best concert in Hawaii every year, and. Um, I went the year before Jack invited me. That was the second year. And I was just so impressed. You know, the caliber of professionalism was just, mm -hmm. you know, so evident. And I was, 
you know, evidently like, superior to any concert I've been to in Hawaii mm -hmm. at the Waikiki show. Yeah. And I just, I was just very impressed. Mm -hmm. And I took a lot of mental notes, you know, and I was just like in awe by the performances of all of the musicians that he had. That how many, stage. how many people were there playing? I think G Love played that year. Mm -hmm. It was G Love, Ozo Motley, um, John Cruz, mm -hmm. he's a musician from Hawaii, Jackson Brown, and Jack Johnson. So that year before you met Jack, were you were you doing a solo thing or were you playing with somebody? The year before I met Jack, I was kind of in the process of, you know, like finishing my songs, like writing wise and it was just I just started my record label in fact that right before it, um, you know I saw that concert mm -hmm. I just started my own record label and I was like in the process of you know recording and um, finishing my album and you know finishing up, finishing up a lot of songs that are on my album yeah. yeah so how do you feel now after all this has happened Wow, I'm I'm like I'm learning so much. I've learned so much since I've embarked on this journey, you know. Mm -hmm. And I just feel so blessed to have made such positive connections, you know, with mm -hmm. some great people. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel, I super, feel the same way. Super blessed, yeah. Exactly. It's just like one thing leads to another, mm -hmm. and leads to another. And yeah, it's just like they're really walking on stones across the river, you know? Yeah, really. <laughs> and just so happens there's enough stones to get you clear across. Without getting wet, yeah.